Hey, Shalom. 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 Hey, we're the Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the Holy Bible. Before we get started prophesying, I'm going to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Kaka Bashem. Give honors to the apostles and elders of great men's known who teach you well, and peace and love to the elect. The Hebrew Israelites consist of the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and wherever Israel has been scattered to across the four winds of the earth, whose spirit goes back to an Israelite. And our Lord is Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. His only begotten son name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is on his way back. How do we know? Can he give us signs? What's one of the signs of wars of the people, of Christ in diverse places? Food shortages, famine. You know, solar eclipses, blood moon, and so on, man. The scripture said, what? Measure the time diligently in itself. The Lord willing to begin to death, man. You know? So let's go and get into it. Upper waters out of the count, the edifying to the elect, to the house of David. Go ahead. This is Mark chapter 1, verse 14. Now, after that, John was put in prison. Right, John the Baptist, who was Abba Bibbin, who was Elijah. Go ahead. Yahweh Shai came into him. I came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of the Most High. Right, preaching the gospel. The gospel is what? The good news. What do the good news consist of? Who is the good news for? The good news is only for the Israelites. You know, the 12 tribes. That's what the good news is for. We have less than 24 chapters, man. No more death, no more sorrow, no more pain. You know? Go ahead. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Right, Yahweh Shai kingdom is at hand. Hey, hold Isaiah, uh, what's that, 62 and 6, give him no wish. Go ahead. Repent ye, and believe in the gospel. Right, it said what? Repent, and believe in the good news. You gotta repent first. You gotta be born again. Hey, Quran holds Psalms 119 and 9. You know, it said repent. And the, uh, you know what? Get, get that and get the Isaiah. That whole thing. Go ahead. Isaiah 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Uh huh. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Right, keep not silence. So you, we ought to be what? Proclaiming the truth. Go, coming out on the highways and byways. Uh, uh, prophesying, man. It's, it's commanding us to do. Occupying, man. It said, keep not silence. We can't be dumb dogs. You know? Go ahead. Verse 7, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right. Give him no rest and make his kingdom, Yahweh Shai kingdom, a praise in the earth. Till Yahweh Shai kingdom be set on up, man. So, what we ought to do? Continue crying and sign for all the abominations of us, man. So we can receive the mark of the white, man, which is what? Except from judgment, man. Because this place got to be destroyed, man. And it's going to be destroyed. Because the Lord said, well, he's he not a man that he shall lie. You know, his word is not going to return unto him for it, man. You know? But guess what? Jake, we got to repent first. You know? We, we got to repent. We come, it's like the part from evil and do good. You know? This is Psalms 119 and 9. Fifth, how with all should a young man cleanse his way? Wait, how should with all should a young man cleanse his way? Yeah, I think we go to churches, get dunked on the water, you know, and so forth and so on. But true repentance, the true baptism is what? You taking heed, finish, I'm jumping the gun, go ahead. By taking heed there too, according to the word. By taking heed, you got to bring that up with you. This is John chapter 15, verse 3. Right. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Right, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So read Psalms 119 and 9 one more time, Bible This is Psalms 119 and verse 9. With them, I would thought should a young man cleanse his way uh -huh. by taking heed there are two according to thy word. According to thy word, it's a true baptism. Take your heed to culture the word. You rehearsing the righteous acts. You following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. That's you being born again. You know, you putting up that old man, that old nigga, that old uh, sinful uh, lifestyle. 
You know, they could walk nation. You put on your house and you start walking in the spirit. This is John chapter 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. What? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And they are spirit and they are life. These words, they are spirit and they are life. So you got to take heed to these words, man. That's true baptism, man. Get to James 1 and 22. You know? This is Psalms 119 and 15. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes, and I will not forget thy word. Deal bountiful with thy servant, that I may live and keep thy word. And keep thy word. Jump to 105 in that chapter. This is Psalms 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Right, that word is a lamp unto my feet. Go ahead. And a light unto my path. And a light unto my path, man. So you want to be born again, you got to be host of righteous acts, man. This society don't teach you to wear host of righteous acts on the most high, man. This society teach you to do what's that please. Obey your flesh. But we know according to the Bible, Romans the 8th chapter, those that walk carnally is death. Walking according to the flesh leads to death. So you got to walk in the spirit. Because this word, they are spirit and they are life. You see? And that's true repentance. You know? Go ahead. This is James chapter 1 and verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Wait, not hearers only. Be doers of the words and not hearers only. Get more of a spirit of faith. But be ye doers of the words and not hearers only, yep. deceiving your own selves. Right, because you, you're basically a hypocrite. You know, you're like a pork chop pastor. <laughs> you know? Pork chop pastor don't tell you, don't teach you to uh, keep the law of the commandments, man. But they, tell, they teach you the one law to keep, that's what, pay your tithes. You know? But no, you got to keep, uh, 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 keep the whole laws. You know, to the best of your ability. The laws you can't keep, you keep that to the best of your ability, man. Unless you rehearse it, man. Unless you being born again, man. You see what I'm Keep going. Go. Verse 23. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Right. That's just like you take a mirror. You the same nigga. And that's a change about you. Mm. You know, you didn't change. So you gotta apply what what been said, apply what been taught to you, man. Apply the scriptures, man. Right. Cause the Lord ain't dealing with hypocrites, man. You know? Go ahead. Verse 24. For he beholdeth himself and go up his way. And straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Right? But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. The perfect law of liberty, go ahead. And continue therein, he being not a forgetful hearer. But a doer of the work. So you gotta be a you gotta be a doer also. You gotta walk it like you talk it, man. You know? Go ahead. But a doer of the work, this man should be blessed in his deed. Right, this man should be blessed in his deed. You're gonna be blessed. You said a uh, uh, good man uh, uh, known by the by his tree. You know? Well it can find that in Matthew 7 chapter 3. This is Romans chapter chapter 3, verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? Do we then make void the law through faith? Go ahead. God forbid. No, sir, forbid. Meaning no. Of course not. Go ahead. Yeah, we established the law. Yeah, we established the law. That's commandments. Yeah, we under grace. Yeah, we understand it. <clears throat> But we did the NLT to dumb it down. Go ahead. This is Romans 3 and 31. <coughs> well, then, if we emphasize faith, does this mean that we can forget about the law? <laughs> Go ahead. Of course not. Of course not. In fact, we only when we have faith do we truly fulfill the law. Read that part again. Read that part again. Of course not. Of course not. In fact, in fact, only when we have faith, only when we have faith, do we truly fulfill the law. Do we truly fulfill the law? You see? 
It said, uh, go back to Jay. What's that? Uh, about, I will show you about uh, my faith by my works. Uh -huh. You see? Yeah, we on the grace. We understand that. But you really have faith, you're going to keep the law of commandments to the best of your ability, man. That's right. And that's what? Repentance. You depart from evil. Because this society is evil. It said the whole world lies in wickedness. It's 4 John 5 and 19. You know? This society going to teach you the ways of Yahweh man. Go ahead. This is James chapter 2, and I started 17. Yep. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, man, say thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show ye the. I will show thee my faith by my works. All right, I will show you my faith by my works, man. So we're gonna put out that sinful nature, that sinful uh, 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 nature, man. You know, we, hey, whatever uh, uh, wickedness we used to do, that old man, you no know, smoking blunts, drinking lean, popping pills. Commit adultery, watching with other guys get tatted up, getting headlines, shaving our beard off, being a fucking simp. <coughs> we gonna put that to the side. <coughs> and start walking in law and state commandments. You know what? They got a uh on this. Hey, Esau gotta be destroyed, man. He got some in his ear, man. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Alright, this is a precept. This is uh Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. Right. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. So this is the summary of life. This is the whole uh, reason why you were born, man. It's to fear your eyes, but you You see? Go ahead. And keep His commandments. And keep His commandments. You got these women. The black woman, see, Jesus died. He died for you to sin. He nailed that to the cross. No, he didn't. Get that, Sirach 15. Yeah, I right here. <laughs> this is Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 20. He have commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. Wait, he didn't give anybody on this earth license to sin. Freely, man. The scripture said we are bought with a price. So we ought to worship the eyes of us in our shot, man. Just because, hey, come on, man. Lot, and that's mindset. A lot of these people going to be destroyed, man. Having that mindset, yeah, he died for my sins. So I can eat this uh, uh, pork chop now. This pork chop ham sandwich. I can throw the bacon bits on Saturday. You know? I can eat this crawfish. No, man. No going to destroy you, man. They said be many that perish in this life because they despise the words of the eyes of us in our shot, man. Many Israelites gonna be destroyed, man, because they despise order, man. You know? Go ahead. You got something here. This is uh, James chapter 2 and verse uh, 26. And it says, For as the bodies without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Well, you gotta have the works. You gotta have faith. You gotta have both. You know? You can't have one without the other, man. Let's play. Go ahead, go out. This is Psalms 53 and 1. <clears throat> the fool have said in his heart, there is no power. Right, a fool has said in their heart, there is no God. Hence the latest slut, Amber Rose, man. Ooh. I don't believe in God, I believe in science. <laughs> I said what science means, she probably couldn't tell you what science means, man. Science, you mean knowledge. You know? And what's the beginning of knowledge? Fear of yep. my side. That's right. Fear of the, the most side, the higher power, man. You people have no knowledge at all. Y'all destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. You know? And this speaking, this this word, this good news is for you Israelites, man. That's who repentance is for. Israel, Israel man. You know, but start with the elect, because only the elect gonna come back and repentance, man. The rest of y'all, y'all gotta be destroyed. Rightfully so. Mm -hmm. right. Co corrupt are they? Right, corrupt are, are they? Corrupt are you? Go ahead. And have done abominable iniquity, and there is none that do a good. And Yahweh Shema Rashad looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any.
they did understand mm -hmm. and they did seek the most high. Every one of them is going back. They are all together become filthy. There is none that do a good. No, not one. No, not one, man. Go ahead. This is Psalms chapter 7 and 11. The most high judges the righteous. And the most high is angry with the wicked every day. Right, the most high judge the righteous. The most high is angry with the wicked every day. And the scripture said, what did, what did the Lord say? There is no peace unto the wicked. And we live in a whole kingdom, the wicked. Job 9, 24, the up is given to the hand of the wicked, man. Mm. There ain't no peace coming to this place. Hey, jump through Ezekiel 7 and verse 25 real quick. Brother Bashar, you stay there. Ezekiel 7 and verse 5 and it reads thus saith the Lord God and evil and only evil behold is come where you at? Ooh, where you at? in Ezekiel uh, 7 and verse 5 chapter 25 All right. verse 25 in Ezekiel 7 and verse 25 it reads Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Right, they shall seek peace, and there shall be none, man. I know peace coming. I know peace for the wicked, man. And two thirds of our people have became like the wicked, man. James five twenty six. He mm -hmm. said, "Most my people are wicked men. Right. They lay snares and they lay traps. And you so-called celebrity, y'all constantly laying traps for these average niggas out here, man. You see, Bruce a badass, hey." It's just the beginning of you, man. <laughs> you know? All you celebrities are going to be destroyed, man. All you wicked, get Amos 9 and 11, too. All you wicked people are going to be destroyed, man. You know? And the Jacob Trump is right up the street, but kick all of this song, son. So this is Psalms chapter 7 and 11. And, uh, I read in NLT. It says, God is a honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. He's angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent, the Most High will sharpen his sword. Mm. If a person mm. does not repent, mm. if Israel does not repent, he's going to sharpen his sword. And that sword is twofold, man. The thermonuclear missiles and also Esau Edom. You know? Because only the nation of Israel can repent. Why? Because we receive the law, statutes, and commandments. We open up with uh, Mark 1 and 15. Repent ye and believe the gospel. You know, so you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you ought to be repenting daily, man. You know? And I'm gonna repent in two weeks. I'm gonna repent uh, now, and then tomorrow I'm gonna smoke this blunt, and I'm gonna repent two weeks from now. No, that's not the mindset, man. It said, make no tears to turn to the Lord, put not off them day to day. You know? Go ahead, really give it up. This is, set, this is Psalm 7 and 12 in the NLT. If a person does not repent, the Most High will sharpen his sword. Right. He will bend and string his bow. He will bend and string his bow. Those yeah. the milsons. See, America is going to be destroyed by, <laughs> by milsons, man. This thing like a fire, man. You people fail to realize that, man. That you living in Babylon the Great ought to be destroyed. Knowing that to, be, to bring fear to your mind. Well, damn, how the fuck can I escape the second bill? We know about the first bill. Most I won't bullshit. No one playing around. You see? Go ahead, huh? And it says, verse 13, he will prepare his daily weapons. He will prepare Ooh. his daily weapons. Hold me good one in 32. We're going to start at 39. Go ahead. And he will prepare his daily weapons. And shoot his flaming arrows. And shoot his flaming arrows. Flaming arrows. We ain't talking about you take a bow arrow, you dip it in some oil, and light it up like the ancient time. No, we talking about these missiles here, man. Right. The most high you ever saw about this through this place with two hundred million missiles, man. What's that? Warheads. Oh. It's prophesied, man. Go ahead. And it says, and, and shoot his flaming arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They they are pregnant woo, with trouble and give birth to lies. And give birth. Virgin daughter Babylon. Got it. They are they are they are what? They are pregnant with trouble 
It give birth to lies. Damn. <laughs> give birth to lies. Hey, I, what's that? Psalm 58? The wicked is strange for the womb to come out speaking lies. Yeah, doing straight speaking lies. And men were built up of, of lies, man. You know? They would say, woe unto uh, to them, man. Go ahead. Let's go on that. Let's go on that. 32 and 39. Get that real quick. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I, am he, <clears throat> and there is no God with me. Hey, no other God with you, how about you know that? Not Jesus, the glass, not Buddha, fat ass, not, you know. It's only you have a small shot, man. That's the only true God that created heaven and earth, man, that you see. Everything around you, man. Those are the only true powers. Go ahead. I kill, not make a lie. I kill, not make a lie. You got people don't believe in God, but believe in Satan. What type of hell is what type of that don't make that don't make no type of sense? Hey. Most like crazy thing. How can you believe in a demon not the most high, man? The people bug out. Go ahead. And I make alive, I will. And I make alive. I kill and I wound, I make alive, man. The most I the most high control everything, your health, you get sick, you coughing. Hey, that's me right now. I'm coughing, I'm sick. Oh, hey, all crazy Abbas Mosh, I'm still out here though, man. Do the spirit fire Abbas Mosh. He can show everything, man. Read again for the top, up. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am <clears> he. <throat> and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I kill and I make alive. Because <clears throat> the most I can show life and death. You see? Not saint. Go ahead. I wound and I heal. Right, I control your health. You get cancer, I'm in control of that. You get diabetes, you get a disease, I'm in control of that. You healthy, I'm in control of that. Let's see how about some more shot. Go ahead. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right, you can't escape the, uh, his, his hand, his judgment. Go ahead. It said, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live for him. And this is how only you have us one second say that, man. That's a God-like statement, man. We can't say that. We just mortals. We didn't create ourselves. So ain't no such thing in free will. You can't, uh, you're not always the same. If anybody say they always the same, they can stop themselves from dying. Because save means what? To prevent the death of, man. Yeah, you can stop your illness. You can stop uh, generational, genetic, what do you call uh, genetic health. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment. Hold on, if I wet my glittering sword, if I sharpen it up, we just were read about it. The Psalms the seventh chapter, seven to twelve, you know? So it says if I wet my glittering sword, my hand take hold on judgment. Go ahead. I will render vengeance to my enemies. I will render vengeance to my enemies, man. Go ahead. And will reward them that hate me. Why? Because the last verse, the, the end game of the ball for all the ones that hate the Lord. Yeah. You know, go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Yeah. All they that hate me love them. All those that hate the Lord love them. <clears throat> hey, Luke 19, 27. Let's get this. You go back to do one. Read verse 42. Yeah, keep going. This Deuteronomy 32 and 42. I will make my arrows drunk with blood, yep. and my sword shall devour flesh. What sword you know can, can devour flesh, man? Yes. Talking about the nuisance, man. Boy, said so this is the final plague. You gonna get that? Okay. Uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. Whatever you know, <laughs> they can undefile flesh, man. You see? So it's talking about the nuclear missiles, man. Go ahead. Then with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenges upon 
the enemy, upon the enemy. And then guess what? The Lord said, Benz is burning his heart, man. He can't wait to come back and destroy this place and destroy two thirds of his own people, man. Because they say judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Our own people who uh, gave the Lord's over, man. Our own people gave the Lord over to be crucified, man. So they got to get judged first. You know? Go ahead. Deuteronomy 32 and 43. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. It's going with all his elect. Because all of the elect going to be saved out of this, man. Going to be saved out of the second death. You know? Go ahead. This is, uh, <laughs> this is Luke 19 and verse 27. And it reads, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. And this so-called Jesus speaking, his true name is how shot, man. He didn't put it up. This is Luke 19 and verse 27. Yeah, put your pastor. They ain't gonna go to this. You know? And it reads, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Right, slay them before me. Amos chapter 9 verse 8 Behold the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom right. and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth and that sinful kingdom start with the uh, start with Jacob, the house of Israel you know that we apply to Babylon the great because this is a sinful kingdom you know Go ahead. but he said well I will destroy it from off the face of the earth so America is going to destroy it Wiping his soul. Saving that, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. For lo, I will right, command. I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. So women are going to be saved out of this, man. All that few. You know? See, Esau can walk walk by here all cocky out and smiling and shit, but it's, it's not a game. You know? It, it's going to happen in a lifetime, man. Go ahead. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Right, among all nations. Why? Because Israel is scattered amongst all the nations, man. Israel uh, and Hong Kong, Japan, the Philippines, uh, what, the Philippines uh, uh, everywhere, man. Chile, uh, Germany. Israel is everywhere, man. So Israel is like the sin of the sea. So Israel is amongst all nations. This is why this word got to go out, man. You know what? Get, uh, Luke 24 and uh, 46. Go ahead. Like as corn is sifted in a seed, yep. yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Right. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, man. All the sinners, man. But what the, what, what the Christians say? Hate the sin, love the sin. What, what they say? Hate the sin and not the sinner. Hate the sin, but not the sinner, man. That's 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 BS. That's BS according to the scriptures, man. We gonna prove that with precept. Right? That's another. A little bit more. Which say the evil should not overtake nor prevent us. Right. Should not overtake nor prevent us, man. But it also said that the Lord will not do good or evil. So all the sinners of the Lord people gonna die by the sword, man. Guess what? That's more being sharpened daily, man. Like a number two pencil, you sharpen that motherfucker, you're going to use it. So Esau, he's going to be a sharpen to come down with great wealth, man. And we warning you from your have a small shot to what? Uh, make yourself ready to the battle. And you know, evils be piggles, piggles upon the up, man. Hold it up. What you had for us? Uh, yeah, I had a. Uh... Go ahead. It's Jeremiah 42, starting at 13. But if ye say we will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your power, saying no, but we will go into the land of Egypt, where we see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor hear hunger of bread, there will we dwell. Now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel 
If ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt and to go to sojourn there, then it will come to pass that sword which ye feared shall overtake you, and there in the land of Egypt and the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you, and there in Egypt, there ye should die. There you should die in Egypt, man. And the Lord said he gonna smite Egypt is, is before with plagues. And, and more plagues is coming through on Monday, Egypt. Yeah, right. Just, he rained down fire on Egypt. Yep. No, he rained, he rained down uh, hell, uh, 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 hell balls of fire. Yeah. With lightning. Yep. You know? <laughs> so, that's really still symbolic of the ultimate judgment that he's going to bring, which is the thermal nuclear missiles. You know? You know, those, those missiles got multiple warheads on them. Go ahead. And it says, So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, by the pestilence. And none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I bring upon them. Yep. So ain't no escaping the judgment that Yahweh Shalom Shah gonna <clears throat> bring. And when he brings it, the only thing that can save you is you being uh, under his wing. You know, being under his protection. Fear the angels. So. The only way you're going to get that protection is if you hearken into his word and you return to be obedient to his law, statutes, and commandments. But he has to give you the mind, he has to open up your mind to receive his, his judgment. Y'all go ahead. I got a precept to beg you up. <coughs> this, this is uh, Sirach chapter 1 and 13. Whoso, whoso feareth the Lord, Yahweh by Shimmy Shah, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. Yeah, whoever obeyed the Ha'abashim Ha'ashai is going to go well. Your life, you're going to have a good life. You know? In the end, anyway. Because there's a cost you have to pay to follow the Lord. All right? No. And see, Christianity no. makes it seem as though it's ill. To follow after the Lord is just going to be an easy walk. And he tells you that it's a narrow, straight path to follow him. And he tells you that you have to lose your life, that you have to love uh, him more than you love your family. You have to, uh, if you love uh, your mother and your father more than him, you're not worthy of him. You're not worthy of him. So this is not a battle for the weak hearted. Go ahead. Verse, verse, thir verse uh, 13 again. <clears throat> Whoso feareth the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel was shot, it should go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. Yeah, because fear is going to instill obedience. And uh, most high, the most high respects what? Uh, those that uh, keep his word. That's his love right there. Go Verse 14. To fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Awashah, is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Yeah. So it's got to be instilled in you already. You know? Those that listen and subscribe, it's because it's instilled in you. Those that's out here on the highways and hedges, you know, week in and week out, in season, out of season, pushing forward. This gospel is because it's instilled in them the fear. You know, it's just like uh, you raise your child up, your son up. From the moment he come out of the womb, he's gonna have a level of fear for you. Even when you get to the point where you up in age, you can't really, uh, you know, overpower him physically anymore. But he's still gonna have that fear. All right? And how much more are we to have that fear towards the Heavenly Father who don't age, who don't, who, whose, whose hand is not short, whose strength is not wicked? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, 
Verse 15. She has built an everlasting foundation with men, and she shall continue with her with their seed. To fear the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimha is fulfillment of wisdom and, and filleth men with her fruits. She filleth all their houses with their uh de desirable and the gar and the garners. Take your time, go back. This is uh Sirach 1 and 17. She filleth all their houses with their desirable yep. and the garners with her increase. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish. Yeah, making peace, making peace, making <laughs> peace and perfect health to flourish. You know? Don't you know that your peace will fix your health? Uh, stress uh, will cause you to be sick, man. And that's why, you know, our apostles. You know, they do exhortations the Prophet Ricard did one not too long ago like you don't you don't really supposed don't worry about nothing yeah don't worry about nothing like don't don't overwhelm yourself and worry about shit that's gonna perish yeah temporary shit yeah, temporary shit get that uh scripture to say uh for the passion of this world passed away let's get that you know because everything that you see is gonna be as it say Dissolved. <laughs> when the day of the Lord comes, it said the elements shall melt with fervent heat. heat. That's right. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what kind of person are you? You shouldn't be stressed out about worldly shit. You know? Yeah. You know it happens. <laughs> you get a, you, you, you know, you, you get a little certain feeling about it, and then you're supposed to. Uh, you know, let that shit be. Yeah, you pray to your heart, watch him have a shot, and he's gonna work it out. He's gonna work out the rest. Go ahead, brother. This first Corinthians 7 and 30, and they that weep as though they will not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. Hold on. Start starting some more of the context for that scripture. You gotta start up a couple verses. You was gonna make a point, bro? Oh, you said it. Okay. Great. Great. But this I say, breath. Yeah, that's it. This is sick. This is First Corinthians chapter seven, verse twenty-nine. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though you had none. Right. Cause you got guys, you know, they got multiple women, or they got one woman, or they don't have no woman. And Apostle Paul telling you how to handle that. If you got a woman. Act like you don't got a woman. And if you don't have a woman, good. It's better that you don't. You see? Don't worry about that shit. Yeah. You know, Jake, you know, get that burn, want to get his rocks off. You know, his ways to handle that. Okay? Of course, you know, they try to demonize us. But all these women are harlots. But go ahead. Right, that's another point. Go ahead. It said the time is short. Well, really? Exactly. You ain't got time to worry about that shit. You know, the time is short. Yeah. You know, it, like the time now is not to worry about having a woman. Because <laughs> she going to keep your ass distracted. She going to keep you, uh, you know, focused on things that's not beneficial for your salvation because she wasn't made for this time right the woman really wasn't made for this time that we in to benefit the ministry because the women that we have for the most part <clears throat> they're not in order the only way a woman can benefit the ministry is if they're in total subjection to the husband in order <clears throat> i mean women out there that's really to call their men lord or even act you know, uh, an inkling, you know, of that, uh, an inkling of that, uh, of that mountain. You know, you got they far few in between. It's gonna tell you who can find a virtuous woman. It's 
said not one of a not one of a thousand. He found not one of a thousand. And that was in and that was in that time when women knew how to sew, cook, clean, be a be a mother, you know, how to breastfeed, teach. Yeah, these hoes uh run out of Similac, they baby's gonna die. Go ahead, bro. First Corinthians 7 and 30. And that's happening in real time, showing you that this shit passing away. Go ahead. And they that weep as though they will not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not. Hey, hey second hand to 16 chapter, man. Yeah? God put the uh, land for it. Let me try to grab it. Go ahead. And See, I was telling you how to be. You know? You say the same. You ain't supposed to be infatuated with things. Look up that word infat infatuated. This world passes away. And they that use this world is not abusing it. It's all right to go out and have a good time every now and then. But should that be should that be a routine? Like going out shouldn't be a thing like it's a routine. Uh nothing really should be a routine but this ministry. You know, like nothing that uh Go ahead, bro. This is infatuated in the Merriam Webster dictionary, filled with or marked by foolish or extravagant love or admiration. Damn. Read that again. Infatuated. This is infatuated in the Merriam Webster dictionary, filled with or marked by foolish or extravagant love or admiration. Foolish. You ain't supposed to be infatuated with the things of this world, with women. Cars, money, your job, you know. You're only, you're only supposed to be addicted to this ministry. You're only supposed to be in love with Sophia, man. Right. Most That's yeah. what you're supposed to be. Uh, matter of fact, you get Joshua 1 and 8, too. If the brother ain't got nothing, you know, go ahead and get whoever has something loaded. Go ahead, Tom. I think you had something. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your affection on things above. What's above? The kingdom of heaven. Not on. Yeah, say, uh, Jerusalem, which is above, is free, and it is the mother of us all. You know? Go ahead. Not on things on the earth, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. Yahweh is dead. Yep. And ain't no peace in this. Ain't no peace in this world. We already dead. And then you, you, you thinking about how the people that's in this world, they really dead because they don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the heavenly Father. So we reciprocate the energy that they give us. The only place that we have life is above. That's you know Jerusalem, which rests with the heaven, with the heavenly Father and the Son. Peace. Jerusalem really means peace. Mm. Just in case for those that didn't know. When you look up Jerusalem, it really means peace. Okay? So where is peace? It ain't in this fucking world. Give Michael 2 and 10. And I call, hold that. On, hold that, but get what I call J Joshua 1 and 8 first. Go ahead. This is Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth. Why? Because this book of the law, guess what? Is a spiritual conduit to Jerusalem above. You see what I'm saying? This is where we could this is where we connect with the Heavenly Father and the Son. Right here. Go ahead. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then shalt thou then shalt thou shall make thy way prosperous. Then shalt thou make thy way prosperous. Go ahead. Then shalt thou have good, good success. success. Then shalt thou have good success, man. Right. So this is where it's at. Not in the woman. Not in your bank. You know. Not in any of this worldly shit. Like. Don't get me wrong, the scripture has balance to say, use the world, not as though it's You know, you might like to work out, but goddammit, don't be trying to be a bodybuilder. You're not going to be a fucking, uh, 
<laughs> We're a strong man competition. <laughs> Hey, you know, brothers get into that shit too, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah. we get into it, man. We get into it, we get into it. Damn, man, ain't getting me. You know what I'm saying? We get the groaning about that shit. But sometimes we just have to face reality. You know, really, we men of the Lord. Like the brother said, hey, you a prophet or a bodybuilder, goddamn. Because <laughs> you got to understand the extreme these people go to to reach those levels that they get to, you know, with this worldly shit. They, you know, think about these ball players. You know, they go to some, they go through some extreme shit to reach those levels to get yeah. that, you know, <laughs> their status. Right. Superstar. They say sleepless night. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, if, I, if I may add, hey, they putting all their energy into something this vain. You know the Lord ain't on their mind. Yeah. How are you going to meditate in this scriptures day and night and be an NBA player? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Well, they might eat, sleep, poop. But be, a, be a UFC fighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They say the rich man lose sleep. Think Shit. about his riches. We go out just fucking uh, battling vocab uh, Malone. Malone. And uh, uh, imposter Geno Jimmy. You know? Shit. <laughs> with a wreck with a regular nine to five. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is Matthew chapter six and twenty. But lay your, up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal, for where your treasure is, there your heart be also. Right. That's plain. Lay your, lay your treasures up in heaven. Set your affections on things above. But if you don't have the eye sound, get that. To say, uh, uh, to the spiritual, all things are spiritual, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit. And the first thing that you got to receive of the spirit is spiritual eyes and spiritual ears. First, and the ears really come first. <laughs> You gotta get the ears first, then, cause you know you, you hear it, then you're able to see it. Cause the Lord, He don't deal with the things that we see. I mean, He does, but He deals with the things we don't see first. You know, because the Lord is a man. They say surely is a power that hideth Himself, so His ways uh, are not revealed to the flesh and flesh and blood. Go ahead. This first Corinthians two and ten, but Yahweh by Shema was shy have revealed them unto us by His Spirit, for the Spirit search of all things, yea, even the deep things of the Most High. Right, even the deep things of the Most High. Our people can't get past the fact that the, that the Lord was a so-called black man. They still stuck on uh, the so-called white man Esau Edom is the devil that the Bible like we trying to tell them that that's a stumbling block but there's evidence <coughs> physical plain evidence of everything that he's done and documented in the Bible that he was going to do before he done it but they the, the Lord say if they uh can't receive earthly things how should they receive heavenly things God. you know go ahead for what man knoweth the things of a man, saith the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of the Most High know of no man but the spirit of the Most High. And the spirit of the Most High is the Holy Spirit. You see? Holy Spirit. Let's look up that word holy and get the, get the adjective for it. Let's get the, let's get the synonyms for the word holy. <clears throat> that's a that's a heavy word. Like we say that word a lot, but that's a heavy word, man. <clears throat> Holy is a heavy word, man. Being separate, okay. you know. And when you talk about the spirit in a man, <laughs> and somebody holds Job on deck. When y'all get definitions, go with it. I got holy. Uh, 
as the Google definition, and it reads uh, mm -hmm. dedicated or consecrated to the Most High for a religious purpose, sacred, and the similar words is sacred, consecrated, hallowed, sanctified. Uh, I got divine, religious, blessed. That's it. You know? Read it again. Hey, give me something else. Give me, because it's. Just don't go one. Let's go. Let's go two or three deep on that word. Go ahead. That's the Google definition. That's just basic. But it. it I mean, it hit. It hit the main things, right? Go ahead. Read it again, Kadash. All right. Holy, holy in the Google definition, dedicated or consecrated to the Most High. Dedicated or consecrated to the Most High. Or a religious purpose sacred or a religious purpose sacred sacred and then i got hollow sacred consecrated sanctified sanctified divine divine uh reverence reverence religious blessed dedicated okay who else got some i got some go ahead this is holy in the etymology the adjective it means consecrated scared scarce and godly. Sacred. 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 This is holy in, holy in the etymology. It means holy, consecrated, sacred, godly, ecclesiastical. Yep. And it goes into. Here you go. That must be preserved whole. And intact. Oh, and intact, man. They cannot be transgressed. They cannot be transgressed. Oh, see? Oh, you see that? Yeah. What transgress means? Go back and die first. What's sin? The transgression of a law. So when you have when a man, when a, when a man of the Lord got the Holy Spirit, it can't the, the Holy Spirit can't go back. When you really got the Holy Spirit. Yeah. See, cause it's pure. I was looking for it to say pure somewhere. Go ahead. They cannot be transgressed or violated. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. See. That's why I say uh uh. That him that stay, uh, what is it, holy, to be holy still? Yeah, yeah. Holy, be holy still. Yeah, Re Re Revelation. Revelation. Yeah, man. Uh, 22. So you got to deal with what type of spirit somebody is, is, is uh, carrying, for lack of better words. You got to deal with the spirit of a man. Give me Joel 14. What, you had something else? Yeah. Okay. A sacred place of pilgrimage. Yeah. They be as pilgrims on the earth. Yeah, we the brother just spoke on that. What it say? A secret? Uh, what kind of place of pilgrimage? A sacred place of pilgrimage. A sacred place. The Holy Spirit. Let's say the natural man can't receive the sacred place of pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. It say belonging to or derived from a associated with a divine power. There we go. Ooh. man. So that holy is really a heavy word. We normally just you know briefly go into it. But that's heavy. Go ahead with that, uh, with that Joel. 14 and 14. Yeah. Is it 14 and 14? There's a, uh, it's correct. There's a uh, spirit in a man and the inspiration. Now, that's if a man dies, he shall live, he shall live again. Yeah. Give me your say, uh, uh, is it Joel 32? There's a spirit in the man. Joel 32 and 8. I got it. Yeah. It's Job 32 and 8, but there is a spirit in a man and the inspiration of the Almighty. I believe inspiration is a divine communication, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Look at inspiration. Yeah. Yep. It's Job 32 and 8, but there is a spirit in a man and the inspiration of the Almighty giving them understanding. Right. So there's a spirit in the man and the inspiration of the most high giving them in this understanding. You see that? Remember we were talking about earlier with free will? Your understanding that you have 
to live this life with, the most high already gave it to you. So if we're trying to get you to see the holy, the sacred, what, what the definition say? The, the, the sacred pilgrimage, pilgrimage of, the, of the divine power, yeah. it's not up to us. If he hadn't already given you the inspiration to, to receive it, you're not going to get it. You know? And it don't matter what topic we, what we go into. <laughs> and that's why the apostles always push it as we have the 100% truth. Right? Because we don't, uh, it talked about, uh, we don't transgress against the Holy Spirit. Everything lines up when we go into the scriptures. It don't matter what topic you want to get into. What you were taught, if it lines up with the scriptures, then you have the Holy Spirit. If it don't line up with the scriptures, then you don't have the Holy Spirit. Because what's the Holy Spirit? John 6 and 63. Go ahead. This is wisdom of Solomon 9 and 13. For what man is he that can know the counsel of the Most High, or who can think what the will of the Lord is? That's right, who can think what the will of the Lord is? Go ahead, it's going to tell us. For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable. The thoughts of mortal men are miserable. Remember, who the mystery is given to? That's what the... It's yeah. not, no, it said it's not, not given, given to, to ordinary, ordinary mortals. mortals. Yeah. So here it says the, the, the thoughts of mortal men are miserable. Go ahead. And our devices are but uncertain. For the corruptible body presses down the soul, <clears throat> and the earthy tabernacle weighs down the mind that muses upon many things. And you got people that's worried about certain parts of their body, certain. Uh, cosmetic things, you know. <laughs> a lot of the time, the way that the Lord made you alone is a hindrance to your soul. Yeah. Shit. Hey, you can imagine if every one of us out here was six, eight, and up. You think we'd all be on the block right now? Yeah. Had a Chris Brown voice. Had a Chris Brown, you know what I'm saying? Y'all understand? That's why he made the prophets. You see what I'm saying? That's why he made the prophets just look like normal statue men. You know, common folk. You know? But in the spirit, though, what? Like, if the Lord was to bring all these uh, modern day giants, you know, I was watching this nigga. Taco Falls. <laughs> I think he a Hamite. Some people say he's Jake. But anyway, Kevin Durant, LeBron James. If he was to line up the top athletes across the street from the prophets around the world and then pull the spirits out, shut the, just drop the flesh and just pull the spirits out. Yeah. Our spirits would fucking devour their spirits. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the Lord has given us the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. They have the spirit of the world. Yeah. Because the Lord, he, he honors the, the, the Holy Spirit. I got a quick one. Go ahead. This is Numbers 14 to 24. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, mm -hmm. and had followed me fully, him will I bring into the land where to he went, and his seed shall have possessed it. That's, that's, that's not an Edomite either, Bokeh. Uh, <laughs> that's a that's a uh, that's a Judite. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You just want to bring that out because they know the spirit. Right? Yeah. A different the elect got a different spirit with the, with the uh, average people out here, man. Yep. <laughs> a separate Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, man. Yep. Go ahead, keep reading on that. This is wisdom of Solomon 9 and 16. And hardly do we get some right at things that are upon earth. And with labor do we find the things that are before us. But you ain't gonna labor for something if you ain't inspired to work for it. You know? Like you wanna you wanna work for the things that, that inspire you. You wanna go after the things that inspire you. You see how that's going back to Joel 32 and 8. So we labor in these scriptures to, you know, find out these deep things that the Lord say that he revealed unto, that he, he will reveal unto us. That he, actually, he's already revealed his glory unto us.
to us, but we just got to search it out. You see? And every brother has a particular talent and a particular measurement to fulfill, which ultimately brings glory back to the Most High. Go ahead. But the things that are in heaven who have searched out in thy counsel, who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. Right. So it has to be from where? Above. Jerusalem, which is above. Peace, which is from above. See, we got peace of mind. Nothing greater than that. Nothing greater than a peace of mind, man. You know? And you had these people with the illusion that they have a peace of mind until shit hit the fan. See, we're going to see who really got a peace of mind when all hell break loose. See, it's easy to have a peace of mind when the earth, the ground ain't shaking. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't being shaken up. But then when the Lord starts shaking things up, that's when the true test comes. You know? And that's how the Lord, he says, uh, the trial of our faith being more precious than gold. Go ahead. This is Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 18. For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. There it is. There it is, man. Yep. Yep. I talking to uh talking to a Jake in the world, man, you know, I work with and he's like a hundred a hundred acres, man. He had a hundred acres he could take and move all of them and his family on there and he could have his own community and, and you know, they'll have their own school. So basically you want a kingdom. You know? You want a kingdom. And the mind will muse upon these things, but yet not, not know that they're truly attainable. Not know that the true way to attain them is through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the heaven of Christ. Right? And not just a hundred acres. I'm talking about the whole earth. See, if Jake really knew, he talking about a hundred acres, if he really knew what, what, what his portion really was, a hundred acres would be an insult. Because I'm listening to him with a good ear, and then in my mind I'm like, "You know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what belongs to you? Do you know what the Lord has? Do you? I say this: Do you know what the Lord has in store for you? You know? Do you know what you have the ability to earn if you would fulfill your calling? If you fulfill your calling, if you're trying to fulfill our calling, if you fulfill your calling, then you are the elect. Guess what? The entire nation is who he called out of all the earth. He called the whole nation. How much of the nation is hearing the call? How much of the, how much of the nation that's hearing the call is going to fulfill the call? You see that? That's only the elect. When he read in the word holy, what word did it, what word, what was another word that he used? Ecclesiastical. Ecclesiastical. Now let's look up that word ecclesiastical. Look it up. Go ahead, you got a piece of it. We'll get it one whoever got it. Uh, this is uh second Ezra chapter chapter six and verse fifty-nine. It says, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Right. See, this is the prophet Ezra's inquiring, you know, to the Lord. <laughs> you know, if the world was made for our sakes, why are we slaves? And how long will this endure? How long these, you know, these people, he said that you have reputed as nothing, Continue to be lords over us. That's the question. Remember, we went in there yesterday. Who will last the last days? Who, who can mm -hmm. stand in the fire? 
So we just waiting for their little time to run out. You know, they doing their clock keep getting closer to 12. Yep. Right? Yeah, the world guy. Yeah. So, go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, in the etymology. Late 15th century, it means of the church, speaker in the assembly of a church. Of the church. Speaker in the assembly of the church. Go ahead. A preacher to call out. There it is. To call out. Who did the Lord call out? Get it. Uh, unto you, oh, uh, uh, I call. Yeah, go ahead. Read it. It means to call out, to call one holding an office in a Christian ministry. Which the real Christians are the Israelites, man. See, they, they, they allowed that mockery to identify the Lord's people. Which when people, when people uh, hear the word Christian, they don't even really know what it really means. Mm -hmm. You know? <clears throat> but really, Christians are Israelites. That's it. Christians are Israelites. That's the church. Go ahead. It's a clergyman or of the person in religious orders. Mm. The clergy just mean a lead of um, a man that's a leader, basically. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Unto you, O men, I call. My voice is to the sons of men, the men of Israel. It's to the men of Israel. Man. Those are the leaders of Israel, the men. <clears throat> you know, give me uh give me uh Matthew the tenth chapter. Mm -hmm. Brothers didn't have nothing already. Mm -hmm. You're already there. Yeah. Huh. Start at five. Yeah. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. These 12 you have a shot sent forth. And commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles, and in any city of Samaria, into ye not. Right. This is this is this is the Lord sending the disciples out on a call, <laughs> telling them where to go, and 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 who to get his message to. <laughs> hey, sounds pretty plain to me, but go ahead. Verse six. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That sounds really plain. Mm -hmm. Go not religious orders. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Go not into any of the Samaritan cities. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go ahead. And as ye go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what we're doing. That's the calling. We're telling our whole nation, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's the calling. That's the calling. Specifics. Religious orders. Give me Psalms 105. You got more on that? Uh, I can read eight. It says, heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, <clears throat> cast out devils, Freely have received, freely give. Freely have received, freely give. We got God making a mushroom dance up there. Man. All you guys are going to be destroyed, you know, for doing this. You know, you got guys charging for the breakdown. <laughs> charging for prayers. You know, man. prayer requests. <clears throat> you, got 50, you need $50 for your a monthly prayer request. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's why I say among my people are found are found wicked men, man. You know, it's so it's so it's so much power in the word of the Most High, even when it's in the wrong hands. You know, it can uh, deceive the simple. You know, it, it can it can it can cause a person to accumulate uh, wealth. You know. And when you see people that's getting money off of the Lord's money, 
because this is the Lord's money. Most of the time, uh, the Lord is setting them up to a heap, a uh, bunch of two thirds to be destroyed. You know? He said, the blind lead the blind. Come on, man, public sidewalk, you got it. The blind lead the blind, they shall both fall into a ditch. Go ahead. This is Psalms 105, verse 6. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. There it is. There it is. Where you, where you read that? Uh, this is Psalms 105, verse 6. Yep. You probably could have started up. Uh, we we'll say, uh, talk about it. We say anointing. could have kept going. Oh, it's anything about anointed in there? Oh. Just read it again. That's cool. I thought we brought that out yesterday. <coughs> okay, come on. This is Psalms chapter 105, verse 6. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. Yep. He is the Lord our power, his judgment are are in all the earth. Yep, go ahead. He had remembered his covenant forever, yep. the word which he commanded to a thousand of generations. Go ahead. Which covenant he made with Abraham in his oath unto Isaac. Yep. And confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. That's the calling. This thing was already set up. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He didn't say forever. Then it's who use words like everlasting. Where are these other nations coming from? You no. see? But keep reading though. Hey, but keep reading though. Yeah. See? Go ahead. He is the Lord, our, our power. His judgment are in all the earth. He had remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand of generations, which covenant he made with Abraham, his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed, saying unto Jacob for a law. Somehow Christianity made Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob be the, the uh, forefathers of the entire, all nations on the earth. Everybody of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob now. Supersession. Replacement theology. That's some bullshit, man. You know? See the Gentiles, the Gentiles. So all the Gentiles oh, is Abraham's seed. Then they take Galatians 3, and Galatians 3 is like a super stumbling block. But then you try to give them uh, Romans 9, Romans 10, Romans 11, Galatians 4, Acts 21, Acts, <laughs> I mean, the list goes on. But you know why? It goes back to one thing we just got to finish talking about. That Holy Spirit. And it don't matter. So you IUIC, uh, church blitz, blitz campaigning Negroes, you are kick, you, you kicking against the pricks. Hey, the, the, the sidewalk public, y'all can come right on through. Just pay us no mind. You know, like everybody else do. Go ahead. Very well. Bring it out. And to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when they were but a free See, man. The Lord is about inheritance. If you own something and somebody tried to come and force their way into your will, would you let that slide? Hold on. God all love, according to the Christian. Uh, philosophy, right? And he's just letting everybody come into his will and his inheritance that he's left for his people. Okay, so why you not just, what if, what if pastor's putting his whole church in the will? You know? This everybody church. <laughs> or this, uh, uh, better yet, what about the Chinese man? who own all these goddamn uh, wig shops, <laughs> right? 
that you so-called Negroes are the number one consumers of. Won't you just go and write yourself on in the wheel? Give them some of that Christianity. We all, look, we, we all God's people. We God all love people. everybody. Whatever he gave you, he gave me. Go <laughs> 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 get your ass out of here. You want to go in there and get some weed without paying for it if you want to. Uh, but yeah, I'm just saying, man, we it's a it's a it's a it's a family thing, man. It's a will between the most high and his family, man. It's an inheritance between us and our father. Go ahead, bro. It's Baruch 4 and 3. Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Yeah, it is, man. The Lord ain't, and you, they can't have it. The Lord ain't, the Lord ain't gonna give it to them. But here it is, Jake. He trying to, uh, he trying to supersede the Lord. Hey, your mama didn't do that shit. That's the word, super, that, that word super, supersessionism yeah. come from the word supersede. Uh, right. Yeah. You try to supersede the, you try to supersede the supreme power of the earth. It's madness. <laughs> it's madness. That's hey, madness, man. Are you going to shop on your best friend? Your mama ain't hey, going to buy your, your little friend on shoes. She going to buy you some shoes. She going to buy you some man. shoes. And if she do yeah. buy some shoes, they ain't going to be the same ones she's going to yeah. buy you. <laughs> yeah. You know? You know? You used to pay, matter of fact, I'm going to tell you what used to happen. Your mama take you shopping, and you want your. Hey, do we got some money? Yeah. Exactly. Make sure you guys make sure the mama see some money, man. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. 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 He ain't got no money. He can't go. Can't go. Ooh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, bro. It say, "Oh Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to the Most High." I made known unto <laughs> us. And that's the law of Jesus' commandments. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Now, man, go ahead, bro. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Hey, hey, if I may add it, tell you, hey, can't got your curve to smile, man. All these other nations, they have no part in our covenant promises and inheritance, man. So the other nations, they just, they just spit. They just vain. No. What you may have to do with my, with my uh, law, statutes, and commandments, seeing thou hatest instruction. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy 29 and 9. 29, 29. Like 29 and 29. And it reads, The secret thing belongs unto the Lord our power, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever. That we may do all the words of this law. That we may do all the words of this law. Which is what? The law is test commandments, man. Get Psalms 147 and 19 and 20. Yeah, we can't make this thing into what we want it to be. <laughs> and open it up to who we want it to be opened up to. It's a sacred thing. Hey, if Esau, let's say Esau was uh, in our position. Right. Esau will give Esau will not allow niggas to come in. Hey, it's funny know. you said that. He is in our position. <laughs> he ain't letting Jake come in. He ain't yeah. in there, you know, you really think about what you just said. That motherfucker he is in our position. He's ruling earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ruling the Yeah, 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 but you know he got the dominion seat. He ain't letting yeah. you know what I'm saying? Not even his own people. He yeah. ain't got the same privileges. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. But I know what you meant, though. Psalms 147 and verse 19. <laughs> he showed his words unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. Yashal. <laughs> his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Verse 20. He have not dealt so with any nation. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Wait, they have not known what? The law of Testament commandments, the word. Most I ain't dealing with these other nations, church. And, and that's funny. So who are all the laws fighting against them, man? Right? 
Wij zijn het volgens mij zullen we voor het begin. Van 1 a.m. naar het ijzer, naar het check. You see? I chose the sea line, man. You can't save no either mic. The most I ain't saving no either mic. Why we can't come together? Because the most I ain't, most I ain't allow us to, man. <laughs> come on, man. Precept. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 3, 16 and 17. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. What's under the sun? Oh, Earth. so the place of judgment held up. Go ahead. That wickedness was there. Right. And the place of righteousness, their iniquity was there. Right, because people uh, say what? Good is sin against evil. You know? So everything is here underneath the sun. You got, God, you got the God versus the ungodly. Here's Jacob and Esau, man. Yep. You got it? The wicked versus, versus the righteous. Mm -hmm. So the wicked are in the judgment seat, and the righteous are in the place of servitude. The elders should serve the younger, you know? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> the, 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 the wicked Esau Edom, he's in the position that we're supposed to be in. And he, uh, and we in the, how I'm supposed to say it? Esau Edom yeah. in yeah. the position that we're supposed to be in, yeah. and we in the position that his ass is supposed to be in. Right. Right. You see? Yeah. I said in my heart, the Most High shall judge the righteous and the wicked. The Most High shall judge the righteous and the wicked. We yep. know that the Most High is a balanced power, man. He fair. He said, let favor be shown to the wicked. Let yeah. the long righteousness, man. You know? And that, go ahead, finish your thing. And he took hold of the Bible. He's wearing the Bible, he said it's a God-filled nation, but he ain't going to watch this though, man. He gave him laws, exemption, laws, deceptions, rights, and so on, man. Right? Yep. It says, I said in my heart, the Most High shall judge the righteous and the wicked. So, when you look at the position that the wicked is in, he's able to dictate to us particular laws to abide, yeah. a particular system to follow. Mm -hmm. But guess what? When his laws and his system violates the most high laws and the most high system, we don't, we don't. abide. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see? Our right, Lord say, give Caesars what Caesars and, and give the most high what he is. Well, the paraphrase. So, hey, we still got to be judged even though we are under the rule of the wicked, that don't mean we're supposed to go after the wicked and his ways. Yeah. Yeah, okay, the wicked eat pork. The most I told us not to eat. Not to eat pork. That's what we, we can stop doing. Oh, but the, he said it's okay. <laughs> the most high didn't say it was okay. Man. We, we ought to obey the most high rather than men. Hey, like another example. The what? Revelation 13 and 16. The Kawagma. You know, most I told us not to take it. But Esau said, well, it's okay to take it. You can live better. You can jump higher. You can probably live forever. It's yeah. not the MOTV. You see? It's not, it's not the MOTV. It's not Revelation 13 and 16. It's life. But when you go into it, what the most I say, you got the Holy Spirit dealing with you. That is the MOTV, man. We're, but, still, we're still going back and forth with the serpent, ain't we? Come on, man. We still, we still, we still doing this. But see, the thing about this time, we ain't going this time, goddamn. Hey, Eve, now in our head. I know. Hey, yeah. We love, we put Eve on the back burner. Yeah. Now, hell yeah. no, nah, bitch. You sit down uh, and stay quiet, man. Keep your philosophy. You know? <laughs> hey, and be thankful, brother, when you get rejected by these hoes, man. Oh, yeah. come on, man. Do you understand that we would, do you understand how far up Shit's Creek without a paddle we would be? If these bitches was uh, bending knees and at our at our service, you know what I'm saying? Just imagine if you got every woman you you want. Right. Man, we man, we be through. Save the have us. Hey, basically you been the king of heaven. Right. You know, a loving, silent woman is a gift from the Most High. Look for that in the kingdom of heaven, man. You see? It's just so fast. Right, Doc.
Hey, so, uh, yeah, back in, uh, I don't want to say it's a rock, it's in the Old Testament. Ecclesiastes 3 and 17. For there is a time, for there is a time, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. You know? So Ecclesiastes 3 goes into the seasons and the times and really discerning the times and the seasons. So it's not the time for us. You know, to have that comfort of a woman. Because a woman ain't really nothing but a comfort. But that's not the comfort that we're supposed to have. Let's get to the comfort that we're supposed to have. Let's get to the comfort that we're supposed to have. I had called with John 6 and 63 earlier. Did you have something? I told him uh Go ahead and bring it out. Just load up. Just run yeah, the spirit. We, we, you know, we brought out John 6 and 63 too. Come. Come. The spirit, man. Come. Come. Going back to what? Repentance. It's just okay. justice, man. Yep. You've been born again, man. Yep. You know, that breath of life entering into you, man. Yep. You know? So get that way for Amos. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you. Wait, it's a hear this word. You got to hear it first. <laughs> Shema, the first commandment. We, we, uh, we got Psalms 147, 19, 20. He showed his word unto Jacob. See, so he's going to say the same thing. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken to you. Go ahead. O children of Israel. O house of Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family which I have brought up from the land of Egypt. Right, because Mosiah uh, 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 delivered us, you know, from ancient Egypt, man. On a Pharaoh, man. And the Lord will deliver us now on this Pharaoh. The Monday Pharaoh of uh, Esau. Go ahead. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Like you only have I known out of all the families of the earth. You see, the most I only know the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. He only known us out of all the other uh, 17 nations, man. You know, Elon, Ham, Ammon, Moab, so forth and so on, all the heathens. He only know the children of Israel. The most I chose the people, go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Right, most High gonna punish us for all our transgressions, man. You see? Why can we see the last of commandments? This is John 6. This is John chapter 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. They are spirit and they are life, man. So you got the, the Holy Spirit, which is this word, got to be in you, man. If you want life, if you have life. Like what are uh, Ezekiel 37 chapter? Can they dry bones live? Now can they, if, they uh, if, if, if the spirit have not entered them, man? I get Revelation 11, what's that, 11, 11? 11 and 8. It's a dead body to the lion this is Revelations chapter 11 and 11 and after three days and start a half. Eight, start at 8. Start at 8 anyway. Okay, right. come on. This is Revelations chapter 11 and 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, the great city is Melbourne, you know, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. You say, uh, class me, what's the one and nine? The spirit, get that way, Chris. I want to close it, let's close it. <clears throat> class me, one and nine. Okay, I got Go it. My phone on the rotate. It's Ecclesiastes 1, verse 9. The thing that hath been yep. is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Right, there is no new thing under the sun. That way you get the uh, the term deja vu, so forth and so on. So we read Revelation 11 and 8, because there is no new thing under the sun. Right? This is Revelation chapter 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Right, the dead bodies speaking of, of us. What made us dead is not keeping the last of commandments to Israelites. We ain't know who is uh, who is uh, who is what. You know, it's a people. You know? We've been called uh, Mexicans, Hispanics, Latinos, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Haitians, niggas. 
and so forth and so on Cuban. We didn't know who he was. It's a people. <clears throat> We've been discontinued from my heritage. So we've been dead, man. In that dead state of mind. Go ahead. And it reads of the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. It says spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. That's what? Babylon the Great, aka Melchior. We were brought over here in Melchior for what? Bondage. Egypt. Bondage. And what do America push? Sodomites. Moles. You see? So nothing new on the sun. Go ahead. And it said, this is Revelation 11. This is Revelation 11 and 9. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall I not. finish eight. You ain't finish eight. We ain't finna say, we ain't This is Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, uh -huh. where also our Lord was crucified. Where also our Lord was crucified, man. Because our Lord, your house shot, is being crossed out to this day. You see? Our people don't know your house shot. Don't keep the laws, that's commandments. That, you see? Come on, man. Verse 9. And they of the people and of kindreds and songs and nations shall see their dead bodies. Wait, the other nations, they saw us. This is Revelation 11 and 9. And they of the people and kindreds and songs and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to but be but put in grace. Right, they ain't rest. They ain't give us rest. They ain't comfort us. If, if anything, they help all the afflictions. You see? They ain't telling who we was as a people. Go ahead. And they dwell upon the earth. And, and they, they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. Right. And make merry and shall sing gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. Yeah, often the two prophets go to what? The, the south kingdom and north kingdom. You know? But start with the elect. Go ahead. And after three days and a half. And after three days and a half. 350 years. Go ahead. The spirit of life from the most high What's entered. What's the spirit of life? The word. You know? This word. Remember John 663. And, and this is uh, Revelations 11 and 11. And it reads, And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. Right, so now we know who we are. We stood upon our feet. I get this from Solomon 5 and 1 of them. Jeremiah 32 and 8. The spirit of the man. Huh? What I say? Job 32 and 8. There is a spirit in a man, and the, uh, the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. That's, that's, that's us raising up on our feet. That inspiration for the Most High calls us to raise up and understand our purpose. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is back in Revelations 11 and 11. And it says, and they stood upon their feet, and the great and great fear fell upon them who saw them. The great fear fell upon them that saw them. So the elites, they 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 fear. Cause we know who we are now, man. We ain't no more calling ourselves niggas. We ain't no more calling ourselves black, African Americans, you know, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans. We ain't no more calling ourselves that, man. Why? Cause the, the prophet not here, man. He set forth the apostles last. You know? So we know, so we know who we are through spirit power y'all but shaman shot, man. Keep that list down. It's wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand great boldness. Wait, stand in great boldness. It said the righteous is bold is lying. You know? The righteous are bold as lions, go ahead. Before the face of such as have afflicted him. But well, who who is who, who afflicted us, man? The so-called white man and the other uh, nations, the heathen. But we stand up against them now, man. We just been part of the and, and, it's, and it's not calling it. We don't got the Draco, you know. We got the 1611 right here, this word. 
to the weapons that I went for in that corner, man. Go ahead. The face of such have afflicted him and made no account for his labor. But they didn't make no account of our labors, man. You see, but Jay still want 40 acres in the mill. No. We want the whole up. And we want your ass because you part of the up, man. You see? Go ahead. When they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear. Right, great fear fell upon them. Man, you see? Because prophecy, you can't stop prophecy. It's all about prophecy, man. It's just what the spirit of Yahweh shot, man. That's right. Go ahead. You shall be amazed at the, at the strangeness of his salvation. Wait, so, man, is it the strangeness of his salvation? What, the, what, what make it so strange? <laughs> so far beyond all that they look for. Right, because they're not expecting a so-called nigga, a wet bat spits, you see? <laughs> a tomahawk, a hell it may be, wherever four of other gay ones. They're not expecting us to be delivered from the sick of the devil, man. Mm -hmm. Or who the kingdom of heaven is for, man. You see? But they're going to be strange to that, man, when they see us being delivered by so-called UFOs, man. We got this movement coming out. No, it's a yelp. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Cause those are salvation vehicles, man. How else you gonna escape the second death, man? Here it is, cheer you right there. Right, it can be right through your face. <laughs> you talking about no? And you hear my missile coming down too. At the same time. Yeah. Which one are you gonna choose? Cheers. <laughs> Come on, man. Yep. Go ahead. This nigga got a pipe. Damn. This is Revelations 11 and 11. Put that in your pipe and smoke. Go ahead. And after three days and a half. Ain't none in this pipe, my brother. Ain't none in this pipe. pipe. You don't put me smoking in the way. Ain't none. I ain't smoking. That's a period of time. All right. All right, good, man. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the most high entered to them. Yeah, he put on the shit. You don't got nothing in the way you got it. Yeah. I'm still in your pipe. We judge it. You, see? Right. you got the little ass shorts on with, 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 with a pipe. You know? And ultimately, I didn't say. And ultimately, I really didn't. Go ahead, man. Fuck it. Hey, hey, if I may add, yeah. like you said, we judges. Hey, you showing evidence, so you guilty by association, man. Yeah. Hey, he, 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 he kissed me. Yeah. I didn't say you got a pipe. He got like, a pipe. Uh, that's like us walking down the street with a gun in our mouth. <laughs> We're saying it ain't lit though. It ain't lit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'll give you one even better. You got the cigarillo behind your ear. Oh, yeah. But I don't smoke though. Yeah. You stereotype. You stereotype, bro. Hey, one more. I got a gun, but it ain't loaded. I just got it with you. Move it. Fuck, you gonna get your ass. Ahead, so this is back in the Revelations 11 and 11. Hey, the scripture says, from the appearance of evil. Yep. He said it to me. Okay. I ain't spoke. You still look like uh, You weren't even talking about him, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the inspiration was drawn from him, but he was really making a side joke. But go ahead. And Here. after three days, <laughs> this is Revelations 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a voice from heaven saying unto them. Right, and we heard a voice from heaven in the Hebrew tongue. Now our Lord spoke Hebrew. Go ahead. Come up hither, and they ascended. Right, come up hither. Go ahead. And they ascended up to heaven. Right, we ascended up. You see, we'll, we'll beam him up. See? Good. Into heaven in a cloud. And their, and their enemies beheld them. Read that again. And this is Revelation 11 and 12. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. And the cloud is what? The so called UFO. My like enemies watch. That can do nothing. But watch. That can stop it. You know? So the leg gonna be saved. He's gonna be beam up. He met the 24 and 31. I was gonna keep finishing in that time. This wisdom of Solomon 5 and 3. If they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he 
when we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Yeah. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. Mm -hmm. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High <laughs> and his lot is among the saints? Right. That's what Psalm 7 chapter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. chapter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nigga credit score 500. How the hell he get be? Oh, that shit don't mean nothing, man. <laughs> they don't mean, I, uh, this shit wicked in a way. They don't mean nothing, man. You 70, I bet you're gonna shout you to 70. Uh, ultimately, you part of that. You gonna get beaten up, man. So here with Esau, or uh, accolades, man. You gotta have a bachelor's degree to, to be somebody in this society. No, man. The wisdom, this world is foolishness with the most high, man. You know? You got something, Brett? Matthew 24, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Right, with a great sound of a trumpet. You see? From one end of the heaven to the other end of heaven, man. Because all of the elect going to be saved out of it, man. It's all about the elect at the end of the day. You know? You got something? No, that's what I hear. This is Nahum. <laughs> Chapter 1, yeah, hold on. yeah, verse 3, backing up the uh, chariot. The, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and would not all acquaint the wicked. Right, so the wicked are not going to get away scot free. Mm -hmm. So he would not at all acquit the wicked. Yeah, Esau, you know, gun down our people and they get uh, two weeks vacation. Yeah. Pay time off. No, the most high not going to acquit the wicked, man. You know, go ahead. And, and the Lord Yahweh have his way in the whirlwind yep. and in the storm. In the storms. Well, so when you see tornadoes, hurricanes, natural disasters happen, that's the most high bringing judgment. Go ahead. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. Yup. Isn't it? Yeah. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. For thus said the Lord, behold, they who judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. He's talking about the Israelites. For well, I transgressed and said, yeah, all Israel transgressed their law in the book of Daniel. You know? So we have drunk of the cup, which was what? Slavery. Right? And are thou, he that shall all together go unpunished. Right, so you go unpunished? Right? Thou shalt not go unpunished. But thou shalt surely drink of it. So you're going to drink of that cup, Esau, you know? The cup must also pass uh, on to thee. You see? He gone. For, for I have sworn by myself, said the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation. The Lord said he has sworn by himself, man. <laughs> you know? He, need, he, don't, he don't need nobody vouching for him, man. You know? This nigga got a blood, what was it, a black amount? Yeah, he said, he said, I don't even want to meet them. I'm straight. I'm straight. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm pretty sure that nigga smoked any goddamn way. I'm a stereotype. Fuck him. Go ahead. A reproach. A reproach. A waste. A curse. And all the city thereof shall be perpetually wasted. Wait, all the city thereof shall be perpetually wasted. Babylon the Great, man. You know? If that not true, why do it? Why, why fake it? <laughs> if a nigga dribbling basketball down the court, I mean down the street, why you gonna think the nigga who? <laughs> so what the fuck? So I'm, I'm in the wall? <laughs> he really just pissed me off thinking about it, man. Keep no, going now. Read, read 13 all. again. This is Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 13. See that fucking woman ass naked. What, what you gonna think? She a holler, ain't it? She a yeah, slut. Stop, Bob. For I have sworn by myself, said the Lord, <coughs> that Basra shall become a desolation. Hey, Basra, America, go ahead. A reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetually wasted. Man, everything here in Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. <coughs> I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen. An ambassador is sent unto the heathen. Over guy in the fourth chapter, man. Go ahead. Saying, gather ye together and come against her. 
and rise up to the battle. Right, rise up to the battle. I can what, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Joel, <laughs> proclaiming uh, ye war. Yeah. <clears throat> Go ahead. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen right. and despise among men. Despise among all men, right? Thy turbulence has deceived thee. Yeah, the, what? Yeah, what? Thy turbulence has deceived thee. Yep. In, in thy pride of thy heart, O thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks. So who dwell in the clefts of the rocks? The Caucasians. Cave dwellers. That holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle. That's the uh, December for the mountains. The eagle, a bald eagle, right? I told I feel the eagle on the neck. No, it 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 in that uh, it makes sense now. <laughs> it's it. Oh, thou that said, Oh, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, thou holdest the heights of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as the height as the eagle, I will bring thee down from this, said the Lord. I will bring thee down, said the Lord. Let your pride go before destruction, man. And ever since Esau put his satellites in the heavens, he been down. You know, he been coming down ever since. Yep. You know? His age has been declining. His kingdom has been declining. Yep. It's, only, it's only, see, when the most high put a cap on your salary, <laughs> <laughs> you, can, uh, you can only go so far before you come down. Yep. You don't get a raise, you listen. That's right. He don't give us no raise. <laughs> no PTO. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> This I don't have it. Yeah, uh, I was gonna back up this precept that this brother brought out. Come on, this come is uh this is Sirach 5 and uh verse 4 and it reads, Say not I have sinned and what harm have happened unto me. Uh oh, we have brought out Sirach 15. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. Read that again now. This is Sirach 5 and verse 4, and it says, Say not I have sinned and what harm have happened unto me. For the Lord is long suffering. Lord is long suffering, man. Yeah. Hey, we're dealing with the ancient of days. Come on, man. He can get you anytime he want to get you, man. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Because uh, justice against the evil sinners is not executed speedily. Now, let's get that class in 811. Go ahead. Good. And it reads, uh, finishing off, he will in no wise let thee go. He will no wise let in no wise let thee go. So why are you people talking about where he died on the cross so I can commit sin? So I can put this pipe in my in my mouth and smoke it, you know? So I can do crap. No, man, it ain't none of that, man. Yeah, Jesus washed all the sins away so I can keep on sinning. Come on. Keep going. <laughs> happy day. <laughs> we got right. All right. Verse 5, concerning the propitiation, be be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Read that one more time. Uh, Concerning the perpetuation, <laughs> be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin, man. Now the ways of sin is what? Death. Death, Death man. Death. That's true sin right there. Come on, man. True sin is when you sin with no fear. <laughs> uh, 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 I was called an apostle Elder Dr. Zuckerberg. I was trying to break it down to a river page. Look, look, we sin, but we're not sinners. Yeah, right. You see what I, you see? Because we have fear of, y'all don't give a damn. <laughs> That's a nerve. There's a difference. One after we ain't another. active in that shit. Like, we ain't. <laughs> we'll catch ourselves. Yeah. We're not intentional. We ain't good. Yeah. We don't see him willingly, man. Right. You know? This, this is James chapter 4, verse 17. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good 
and does it not, to him it is sin. What to him it is sin. So you willingly commit sin out here, man. You tell a nigga you're not supposed to smoke. Oh, you stereotype. I don't got nothing in it. Okay, but are you though? I ain't say you. Right, you might not be doing it right, right now. I, I just said, well, you know you're supposed to be smoking. You stereotype, I don't got nothing in it. I was just saying, you know you're supposed to. Why the fuck you got it in your mouth anyway? Yeah. <laughs> niggas, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking niggas, man. <laughs> but, hey, but the scriptures say, hey, it say what? Every brother will utterly supplant. <laughs> yeah, no. Trust me, every brother. Hey, man, yank, yank for all, man. I think he yank for all like a motherfucker, man. That's a flex shit at you. Yep. He's just walking down the street with a pipe, but there ain't nothing in it and he ain't smoking. But why though? What? Why? I'm trying to pick the nigga, you don't got on suspenders and uh, yeah. slacks. Pop out of sailor, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't got on a sailor outfit. So, who are, what role are you, you know what I'm saying? What role are you playing? Oh, who are you trying to fool? <laughs> I ain't say you was smoking. You don't smoke. You smoke. You was already guilty by association. Yeah, by association. Ugly ass boy. It's like you sitting at the cigar lounge. It's like you go to a smoke shop, but you don't smoke. What the fuck I'm going to a smoke shop for if I don't smoke? What I'm there for? Play like I'm. You look cool. To look cool. Go ahead, bro. I got sinner in the etymology, straight to the point. It's a person who sins without repenting, a <laughs> evil doer. A person who sins without repenting, an evil doer. That's it. That's two thirds of our people, man. That's what the Most High requires. Repentance. That's it, man. <laughs> You know we gonna like the Lord the scripture say the Lord made us subject on the bed. You know we gonna go off. Us going off really ain't the problem. It is, but the real problem lies is when we go off and we don't repent. Right. Oh nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know how somebody do something against you and they know they did it? Yeah. But then they act like they didn't. It ain't the fact that they did it that really pissed you off. You are pissed off because they did it. But it really pissed you off when a nigga act like they didn't do it. Right, 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 right. right. I mean, you gonna do it and act like you didn't do nothing? You gonna teach me to do it. Like a nigga, like a nigga, like a nigga be walking down the street and nigga just walk up to you and like, oh, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> oh, so, not only did you bump me, nigga, you know you bumped me. Come on, go on. Hey, what you do with the total box? Yeah, I did it. What you do about it? Yeah, I did it. I was trying to do it. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, did you repent? I mean, right. <laughs> um, I don't know, but... Hey, see, that's why the most high said they should have no cloak for their sin. So, you ain't gonna be able to say you didn't know that it was wrong to eat pork. That it was wrong to sleep with another man's uh, wife. That it was uh, wrong to, to worship the image of Caesar Borgia. Yeah. Nobody you ain't gonna be able to say you didn't know what it was you needed to do to please the most high. Say I've given you straight command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What to do? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sarek 5 in verse uh verse 5 concerning the perpetuation, be be not without fear to add sin to sin. Yeah, verse 6, and say not, his mercy is great, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, he all love. Mm -hmm. He good. I mean, Lord died for me. Yeah. He most <laughs> you see? <laughs> no fear, go ahead. It reads for mercy and wrath come from him. Mercy and wrath Ooh. come from him. You read the woman said ninth chapter, and he said, Why well, we have most on whom I will have mercy. Mm -hmm. You see? We want to have to show mercy. We want the Lord to bless us with, with his mercy. Because we don't know. Mm -hmm. but go ahead. And his indignation resteth upon sinners. His indignation resteth upon sinners. Go hang out the sinners. Oh, well, his in the nation, where's the parsons, man? Explain that. 
understand your pipe is smoking. <laughs> <laughs> so get that Luke 18. Before. This is Luke 18 starting at 9. And he spake his parable to certain which trusted in themselves <laughs> that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up in, into the temple to pray. So this is a parable that your house has spoken. Go ahead. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. <coughs> the Mosai, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, exhort unjust adulterers or even as the publican. Yep. Slack it. Extortioners, unjust adulterers or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. So basically he was uh, uh, lifting himself up, right. exalting himself, man. Yeah. So he really was in the mind, his mind really wasn't on uh, repentance. He really didn't have the true mindset of repentance. Right. And the public instead of the off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven. Right, go ahead. But smote unto his breast. Smote. So like it, but smote unto his <clears throat> breast, saying, the most high be merciful to me. A sinner. So this is a true repentance, a true mindset of uh, uh, feeling regret, remorse, man. You know? True repentance, man. Those of a contrary spirit, man. Broken hearted, man. What? And it says, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Wait. Go ahead. The Lord God's kind of Go ahead. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humble himself shall be exalted. Right, so you gotta humble yourself, man. It's all about humble, man. The most high dealing with the humble, man. Dealing with the lowly. That's it. Go ahead, come on. This is second edge of seven, verse 20. Yep. For there be many that perish in this life. The Lord said gonna be many that perish in this lifetime, man. Go ahead. Because they despise the law of the most high right, that is set before them. Right, keep going. For Yahweh by Shema Shah have given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. Wait, that's our people. That wasn't obedient to the words of the Abba Shimon Shah, his voice. Go ahead. But spake against him. Wait, spake against him. The judgment of the Abba Shimon Shah. And imagine vain things. And deceived themselves by their wicked deeds. By their wicked deeds. And said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. <laughs> Come on, keep going, huh? But his law have they despised and denied his covenants. And his statutes have they not been faithful. Yep. And have not performed his works. And have not performed his works. You got to perform it. You got to keep the law, that's commandments. There are many gonna be perished in this lifetime. Okay, they think it's okay to uh, uh, to commit sin. You know, it's not okay, man. Right. Therefore, edges for the empty are empty things, and for the full are full things. Right, that's it. I, I want a son. I want some segments. Ain't it fifty or more? Yeah, it's fifty. The second address, chapter 8, verse 50, for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Because of their pride. Great mysteries, man. A lot of calamities, man. A lot of evils. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Right. Go ahead. No, jump down to um, verse 55. This is 2nd Andrews chapter 8, verse 55. <laughs> And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Right, hey, don't worry about these niggas, man. So when these niggas begin to drop dead like flies, don't worry about it, man. 
Done. You see? When they have Evan White, Evan Chad to repent. You gonna say he commanded everybody, everyone to repent, man. You know what? The Acts 17 and 30? No? Go ahead. But when they had taken liberty, they despised the most high. Like not second as nine. That's it, second as nine. They had loaded law. So they had taken liberty. We they do not. The second address, chapter 8, verse 56. Yeah. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the most high. Well, they despise the most high now. You see? Go ahead. Thou scorn of his law and forsook his way. Right, for, forsook his way. Which is what life. Keep going. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteousness. Trodden down his righteous, man. Destroying the, uh, killing the prophets. Playing the prophets, talking shit, and he's losing prophets. You know? Go ahead. And said in their heart that there is no there is no God. No such thing as God. God yeah. don't exist. <laughs> Look at Elbow on Slut. Elbow Rose. Elbow Slut Rose. You know? There's no God. It's on the sign. You know? <laughs> what that boy's in the hood? If it was a God, why we in this predicament? No, she could, she could be a sheep. Yeah, and that knowing they must die. And that knowing that they must die. A fool has said in their heart there is no God. And knowing that they must die. Read that again, now. This is 2nd address, chapter 8, verse 58. And said in their heart that there is no God. Yeah, and that knowing they must die. And knowing that they must die, man. This is why they saying that. This is Sirach 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High. Wait. Go ahead. And his heart is turned away from his maker. For pride is the beginning of sin. For pride is the beginning of sin, man. For pride is the beginning of sin, man. You in that self will self-made spirit. Pride. You full of pride, you commit all types of abominations, man. Okay, can't nobody tell you nothing, man. You know? Hey, if I may add, Dolph had a quote before, you know, he that's why he did now. He said, uh, help judgment and live your life. Fuck well, judgment and live your life. That nigga, yeah. he long gone. <laughs> he then he have it. come back in the kingdom in his right mind. And he that have it shall pull out abomination. Hey, if anybody got the, got pride in go pull out abomination. Motherfucker ain't dealing with pride, man. Pride for people, man. I was also in the park where it's like, uh, I believe it said, give me not a proper look, man. A hard look, man. Go ahead. Therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Strange calamities. It over and destroyed them completely. You see? The most I gonna destroy this sinful nation completely, man. This powerful nation completely. With the more? One more. Yeah. The Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes. Come on, Esau. You about to, you about to be destroyed. Go ahead. Instead of meek in their steeds. Instead of meek in their stead. You see? Then the meek on the head of the earth, man. Hold for a second, too. The Lord have plucked up the roots of the proud nations plucked up the roots. and planted the lowly in their place. Right, so he pl uh, plucked up the roots. He ain't, he ain't just mow it because the roots stayed there. He always come back. No, he been plucking that shit up. Uh, Malachi 4 and 1. Yup, yeah, you get that. Well, go with it. Get the second Ezra 9. This is second Ezra chapter 9, and I'll start at 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's what then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Shall dwell in torments. Yeah, that's what's coming to the earth, torments, man. Yeah. Go ahead. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Well, I people don't know the Lord. They don't know the judgment of the other man. Or they don't dwell in torments. Go ahead. This is uh back in 2nd Ezra 9 and 11. And they that have loved my Slaki 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, 
as they that have lost my love. They that have lost my love, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised them. Like despised repentance, you know? That despised them. And knowing that, they must die. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you don't repent, you're going to die, man. You see? Go ahead. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain.
Yeah. When we say when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Yeah. You got it out. Yeah. I got uh, 2 Andrews chapter 1 and verse 4. And it reads, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Verse 5, Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds. Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds. And this uh, Andrews, uh, a Levite. Same thing Isaiah 51 said, Cry out loud still not. Show my people that transgresses in the house of Jacob their sins, right? You know? So we that to get They said, And the word of the Lord came, uh, came, up, came up to me saying, Second mm -hmm. Andrews chapter 1 and verse 5, Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness. Right, their wickedness, especially expose them, man. Tell them they're going out, man. It's fair enough. Which they have done against me. Which they have done against uh, the Lord, man. Man, you worship all the gods, man. You worship all uh, the sex way. To mm -hmm. You going out, man. You bound down the elders. You got to show, uh, show them where they're going out there, man. You know? Go ahead. That they may tell their children's children. Right, go ahead. Verse 6, because the sins of their fathers are increased in them. Right. <laughs> Come on, man. You worse than your father, man. That's Jake. Jake worse, man. Especially now. They said, uh, my people don't consider. they going backwards, man. They will vote more and more. Their whole head is sick. You know? Go ahead. For they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. Come on, man. Go ahead. And uh, jump into verse 25. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will I will forsake you also. Read 24. Uh, all right. What shall I do unto thee, O Jacob, thou Judah, what is, what is, what is not obey me? I will turn me to other nations. Uh -huh. And unto those will I give my name, that they may keep my statutes. Go ahead. Verse 25, seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. Have you ever got Hosea 4 and 6? But um, go ahead. When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Right. When all hell finally come. Uh, come up, uh, up upon this up when Jack and Trouble finally uh, happen, you gonna be you gonna want mercy then, man. Uh. But you ain't came back now. You ain't gonna repent now. You see? So you ain't gonna get no mercy, man. No mercy, man. <laughs> no mercy, cut. No ahead. mercy, bro. This is Hosea. Oh, uh, okay. Verse twenty-six. Whensoever ye shall call upon me, I will not hear you. Well, he's not gonna hear you, man. Same thing go for us. Pray not for these people. I will not hear you. You know? Go ahead. For ye have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. Yep. A lot of murderers, man. And, and, and especially here. Especially now. Go ahead. Ye have not, as it were, forsaken me, but but your own self, saith the Lord. So, right. So the Lord basically stuck. Like, look, he you put stuff your damn self, man. I'm in control of all of this. <laughs> you know? You did it to yourself. The Lord said, why don't you die on the house of Israel? All you got to do is, is, is obey my voice. Why don't you die, man? And all you got to do is be obedient to your other one shot, man. You know? Come on, man. This is Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou mayst be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast begun the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Yes, and most I going to forget you and your children. Don't forget you and your household, man. Because you refuse to come back unto them, man. Yeah. True knowledge. Uh, get uh, Romans 10 and 2. Because, uh, like, you know, we <clears throat> was talking about that earlier. I know you mentioned about uh, Jake say, uh, what the bitch say, she don't believe in God, she believe in science. Oh, yeah. yeah. Emma Rose. Yeah, scripture 2 would say, science falsely so called. 
Romans 10, whoever get to bring it out. Go ahead. It's Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Right. You know, so our people are God-like people, but, you know, they don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Most High's wisdom. Read it. Go ahead. It's Romans 10 and 2 in the NLT. I know what enthusiasm they have for the Most High. Right, they got enthusiasm for the Most High. Like, you know, our people are really animated when it comes to the Most High, but they don't know how to truly please the Most High according to His Word. He don't, uh, you know, care about your personal way of praising Him and reverencing and honoring Him. He, it's a specific way you gotta we can't just worship the Lord the way you want to worship the Lord. As a matter of fact, hold John the fourth chapter. Go ahead. But it is misdirected zeal. It is misdirected zeal. Y'all into all the wrong shit. Just to put it in lame and term. Y'all into all the wrong shit, man. And then unmove their lips. Oh, bring it out. Oh, oh, oh. Jumping the gun. Oh, oh, oh. This is Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. The people draw not unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me. Right. You got people saying prayers over Thanksgiving dinners. You see? Holy Christmas, you know, praying for the Lord to help them get that bonus so they can buy Christmas presents. That's not of the Most High. That's not reverence. That's not how. That's the Lord said He will not smell in your uh, sacrament. You know, hate your, hate your feast days. You know, get that. Uh, you can finish. Got uh, more? Go ahead. Go ahead. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for a doctrine the commandments of men. Yeah, the commandments of men. <laughs> Esau, he don't set up his kingdom to reverence his gods. And he also set it up in a way that's so deceptive that he kind of entangles everybody's gods uh, into his time of celebration. Just like they got Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and Christmas and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just like when 4th of July, I think it was a, uh, damn, was the, what was the uh, country overseas. They celebrate their independence on July the 6th. I can't remember the name of the fucking country right now. But they shoot fireworks and shit too. You see? But really, what does that have to do with the so-called Negro or Latino Native Americans? Nothing. That has nothing to do with you. But you will take the Bible and because that's what white supremacy Christianity, even white supremacy Christianity is anyway. You know, they take the Bible and paganize it. And, you know, like uh, Christmas uh, really goes into uh, Satan worship when you get done with it. Mm -hmm. Saturn, mm -hmm. it goes back to their gods. They think it was back to their gods. Go back to their Greek and Roman gods. <laughs> a lot of secrets, a lot of tunnels. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, they got independence in July. But you not go back to Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. So that's the worship of Julius Caesar. See what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, bring that scripture out. This is John chapter 4 and verse 24. Yep. The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Right, so you can't worship the Most High in vain. You got to worship the Most High in spirit and in truth. So how you going to worship someone if you don't know their true name? You know? 
know. These other nations got names for their gods and they worship them, they call them whatever they call them. Not just God. You know, God just means power. You know, Allah. Ali 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 <laughs> you know, <laughs> you saw gonna use it. <laughs> yeah, man. But see, that's another sacred thing, though. Know. And he said the, the true worshipers, right? And the hour is now. He said for the Father seek, seeking such to worship him, man. You know. But you, uh, you people that are not of uh, the Lord's elect. We're going to worship him in spirit and truth because we're not of that spirit. Thank you. Uh, right? You are the pseudoscience power. Yeah. You are the knowledge of the, 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 the knowledge of this world. Right? The Lord says foolishness. Give me that uh, science. Uh, science, false, and so on. Look at that word, uh, science. This is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. Oh, Timothy. Keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. Yeah, oppositions of science mm -hmm. falsely so called. Yeah, because Jacob get to going off into, you know, all these uh, different uh, uh, philosophies. <coughs> I can't even really uh, give you an example, but we've had it. They get to going into some philosophy, and you like, man, look, hey, this is all you need right here. Are you read this pretty the of the dead and 48 laws of power? And, you know, this is all you need right here. This is this the true knowledge right here, man. You got the word science. Science in the Blue Letter Bible outline biblical usage. Knowledge signifies in general intelligence and understanding. There it is. There it is. And he said science falsely so called. So this world is full of that false science. You got some more you want to get out of there? Uh -huh. The general knowledge of Christian religion, the deeper, more perfect large knowledge of this religion <laughs> such as belongs to the more advanced yeah yeah so true true science belongs to the more advanced which the more advanced are those that the most high has given knowledge and wisdom to the, the babe right matter of fact get that in uh, corinthians where it say uh, uh he has revealed them unto the babe Go ahead. You know, you gotta make a point. Go ahead. I just wanna make a point though. You know, she said she believed in science. Basically, what she she believed in ESO science. Yeah. She believed in ESO technology. Of things lawful and unlawful for Christians, moral wisdom such as is seen in right living. That's what it is. And. The standard of right living is where? In the Holy Bible. That's where you find the standard of right living. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, this is 1 Corinthians 3 and 2. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, uh, neither ye not are ye able. Go Hold on, so like, let me read one. Go to 1 Corinthians 2 and 6. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 2 and 6. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Right, more advanced. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Go ahead. It says, yet not the wisdom of this world, 
nor of the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to nothing. Right. So that's the size that she believes in. Right? That's the size that she believes in. It's the, the, the knowledge that's going to come to naught. Go ahead. But we speak the wisdom of the most high in a mystery. We speak the wisdom of the most high in a mystery. So mysteries are given to everybody. And mystery is something that is a mystery is something that's spiritual in itself. Because a mystery is not something that is easily uh what's the word? Found out. Oh yeah. Mystery a mystery means something that's not it's something that's secret. It's not something that's easily found out, you know. But Esau lied about everything. That's why it's pseudo sign. He tell you the earth is fucking billion years old because he played in the dirt. <laughs> and niggas believe it. Niggas believe everything. <laughs> Whatever he say. When the Bible tell you that the earth is, is twelve parts, you know. Go ahead, Pope. Go ahead, go ahead, make a point. These guys are going to be making sense, man. He just make shit up. Nigga say he walk on the moon. Uh -huh. That's a light. You ever try to unscrew a light, bud? That shit go burn your, your head. Burn your head, you got to get the light. Try to squish, dog. Yep. Then unscrew it, man. Yep. You know? This nigga just a liar. Yep. You know? Yeah. He say his life on Mars. How you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Have you been there? And then they don't never bring you no pictures back. No, we, live in a, we live in an age where everything, you know what I'm saying? They ain't brought no pictures back yet. They just keep telling you shit, and they don't bring no pictures back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we back. discovered. <laughs> discovered. Just like they told you they discovered America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they told you they discovered America. Right, right, right. <laughs> Y'all keep believing the nigga that told you he discovered America. Okay. Hey, the man made movies. The green, what's that? The green, the green screen. Yeah. Why you, hey, you do everything live and direct. Why won't you just go to the movie and record this shit? Man? Yeah. Come on, man. They make a movie. Discover like yeah. in the etymology the 13th century to expose, mm, to lay open to view, to betray. Look. Yeah. So why you ain't laying it open to view? Because what you doing is you betraying. <laughs> <laughs> you, you discover something, you're supposed to lay it on hold. Oh, we discovered life, yo. No, we discovered this planet. You're supposed to lay it open to view. Yo, you got satellite imagery in the heavens. Go ahead. To cover up, yeah. cover over, overwhelm and bury. Yeah. <laughs> that's how he just, that's how, that's his, see, that's, see, it's, 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 it's two sides to every corner. You know? King Solomon was sending uh, the Navy over here to get peacocks and gold, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we was all went over here, man. And he ain't discovered shit. He ain't discovered nothing, man. So. Go ahead. There's more on that scripture we were just reading, though. Yeah. 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 You got something, though? Go ahead. We'll come back. Go ahead. We'll jump back. This first Timothy chapter 1, verse 4. Need to give heed to fables mm. and endless genealogy, yep. which minister question rather than godly edify. Yeah, this nigga give you a DNA test and, and, and break down your uh your your uh, uh, what you call it your race in so many damn yeah, your percentages where you five percent this. He <laughs> <laughs> be believing it, man. <laughs> He just say like anything. <laughs> this man tell you anything, and you be oh, how you know? A science. I have science. A science. Yeah. Science told us. <laughs> Maybe think about Uncle Ruckus and all the boom docs. Woo! He just want to go to White Heaven. Yeah. If, this, if this niggas up there, I don't even want to know. <laughs> Damn. Why it ain't right? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, read that again. Read that again. This is 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 4. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister question 
rather than godly edifying, which is in the faith. Yep. So do. Because yep. truth, you know what? True, true That's my knowledge is of the spirit where the Lord gives us faith, right? And then faith will ultimately bring forth evidence of things that people uh, with eyes just like us have won't even be able to see. That's what's that's that's like I've come to find out that that's what the truth is all about. The truth is about giving us knowledge of things, and certain things are common things that everybody have the eyes to see, but without faith, it's invisible. Without faith, something that everybody with two eyes can see can become invisible. <laughs> This, this is confined in the etymology of the mid 15th century to place trust or have faith. Yep, you gotta have faith. Yep. So once you once you truly have the Holy Spirit, you're gonna have faith, and faith is gonna reveal things unto you that before you had faith, you wouldn't have been able to see. You know, like uh. When you go over here on the north side of the river, what they call President's Island, where they uh, pull in a lot of the uh, the uh, cargo ships, the, oh, yeah. the, the, where they dock where they dock the ships and shit at, right? Car yeah, cargo ships. Cargo ships. Well, it's a park over there. It's got all the uh, gas mounds, the mounds and shit over there. Oh yeah. Man. Tall mounds, man. Yep, yep. And I was going on. I didn't know what that shit was. Yep. I thought that was just how they built the park. Now that's ancient history. That's history. Yeah. When Gad and them first came over here and took over the Americas, that's what they was doing. And when that, that's how they was fighting against the cavalry of the fucking uh, 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 colonizers. Yeah. <laughs> Spaniards. You know. Then y'all. So they had war strategies advanced before these months and then they you know what i'm saying they took it and ran with it yeah like the the, the tomahawk the, the helicopters the, the apache yeah right. Esau just took it like the well the word for the paint yep it's yeah. just a copycat yep yeah. yep camouflage see who he gave that to the ones with faith he gave that to the sons of god the princes of the power man you know Go ahead, bro. So this is back in 1 Corinthians <laughs> chapter 2, and I'll read 7 again. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in the mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. So you can go to you can go Bible college, you can get all the HDs, MDs, B, D, A through Z. Get all the letters you want, but it's this this book right here is not for your glory. It's not for your glory. He said he ordained it for whose glory? Read that again. It says, "Which the Most High ordained before the world, before the world, unto our glory, unto our glory, <coughs> which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it." They would have not crucified the Lord of glory. You see glory. how I say the princes of this world? Mm -hmm. But we not the princes of this world. See? We we the prince, we the sons of God. We the princes of God. We, we got many worlds for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, we, we, we are walking worlds. The Lord said the kingdom of heaven is within you and in this house is many mansions. Mm -hmm. So we... We are walking, like, if you are the Lord's elect, it's, we, we walk in worlds. Right. Like, we go, we, he, he, he made us to build kingdoms and build planets and build. Man. Come on, man. You other nations ain't on our level. On no, on, and, no and then even in your goddamn rulership being on our level. Man. <laughs> you low level. <laughs> You low level even when you on high. Yeah. That's fucked up, man. Look at the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> I 
not everybody's. And he's going to be very violent when he comes. You see? That's, that's something that's hard for people to receive. Man, let it be violent, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's have a go uh, John 2 man. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Go ahead. This is back in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. But as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. And you already know the strangers of our salvation, the things that we just uh, meditate upon with these mortal bodies, they like, that's, you know, a normal Jake like, a charity? What are you, where, you, where, what is that? <laughs> you know, they just blown away. So they tell them we're going to be uh, flying from galaxies to, you know, we tell them we're going to be able to control the elements. Yeah. We're going to have a, uh, 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 grapes the size of damn Basketball. basketballs. Man. They don't understand, man. Well, believe in Santa Claus. Because you know why they don't believe? Because they believe in science. Keep going, huh? Hey. Science. Hey, did they get out of school? Oh, that was science. This is First Corinthians 2 and, a, two and 9. As it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of men the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. But the Most High have revealed them unto us by his spirit. By what? By his spirit. By his spirit, man. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. For the spirit search of all things. The spirit do what? Search of all things. Guess what? The Most High ain't lazy. Jacob wasn't a lazy man. <laughs> Guess what happened when the Lord told him how to be the angel? He was a prince uh, with the Most High. With, with the Most High, you are a prince. You are a prince of the power. That's when he started to build his inheritance. Right. So, we, man, we workers, man. You know? The best, the best innovators, creators, architects on the planet. That's us. We built this piece of shit, Kingdom Day. He saw Edom rule So he took credit for most of it. That's why I can't even fucking stand Jack Daniels no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with Uncle Nearest, man. Yeah. So it's a little more expensive. <laughs> well, I don't drink whiskey every day. Yeah. But when I get the taste for some whiskey, I'm gonna give me, I'm gonna buy me a bottle of fucking Uncle Nearest. Fuck Jack Daniels. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 10. But the Most High revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit search of all things. And when you watch that short film by uh, Jeffrey, I think his name, Jeffrey Wright, on Uncle Nearest, man, it's spiritual. Yeah. When he, when he showed how he made it with the limestone and, uh, and, the, and the maple and the, uh, the charcoal. Oh, yeah. You know, that's some ancient shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He tastes better too, man. That watered down ass jacket. <laughs> that black watered down ass shit, man. Yeah. Because it show, it show you, because his, you can only get Jack, you can only get, uh, Uncle Nearest in 193 feet. The lowest you can get, Jack, I mean, the lowest you can get, uh, Uncle Nearest is 93 feet. You have to get, uh, uh, regular Jack Daniel come in what? What? 80 feet? 80, 80 feet. So you really have to spend your money, like get the barrel proof, and all that shit. But, Man, that shit still, you can get the highest proof and it ain't even messing with, 
you know, you get the Jack Daniel Honey, whatever, whatever version of it, it still ain't on veneers. JB keep your secrets, man. <laughs> they tell Massa everything. Mm -hmm. I ain't tell him everything, man. Tell him everything. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 11. For what? Now I'll read verse 10 again. <laughs> For the spirit search of all things, yet the deep things of the most high. Yep. For what man knoweth these things of a man, <laughs> save the spirit of man which is in him, even so the things of the most high. No, no man, but the spirit of the Most High. Yep, that's the spirit. We brought that part of the verse out earlier. Mm -hmm. No, they say jump down across that happy are we? Will He have revealed them unto us? Is that is that in that chapter? He have made them known unto us. Not, no, no, it's it's a uh, it's another yeah. It, it's similar, but it's in Corinthians as well. Keep reading. If y'all find it, if not, it's okay. We'll close. Go ahead. Verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, yep. but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. Yep. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. But which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. See, the Holy Spirit is going to be what teaches the true men of the Lord, yeah. not the curriculum of the world, mm -hmm. not the Bible colleges. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Holy Spirit is different. The Holy Spirit, he read it in Wisdom of Solomon earlier. It comes from above, Wisdom of Solomon, the ninth chapter. He said, the counsel of the Most High, who who would know it? This to be sent from above, unless the Holy Spirit sent it from above. <laughs> Jerusalem, that's where it's at. That's, that's where our bodies is waiting at. That's where I, you know, with the with, with your how about she, how shy, man. Come on. I gotta Go ahead. So like one and one, all wisdom coming from the Lord, and his end is with him forever. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Y'all got any closing precepts? Yeah, let's try to find it. Get Luke 21-28. Yeah, he read it already. It was verse 10, 1 Corinthians 2 and 10. But the Most High hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit, yeah, I just... This is Luke 21 and verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, yep. then look up and lift your hands for your for your redemption draw off not. Yep. Yep. Right on. So you see the spirit of the Lord, which is prophecy, bringing these things to pass. What man or person ought you to be? Looking for and hastening for the coming of the day of our Lord. Which how is the Lord going to come? He's going to come as a thief in the night. He gonna come, what, with his chariots, like, like a whirlwind. Yep. Right. His anger and fear. Yep. And so it's you need to be looking up. You know, constantly looking. Because the thing about it is, the chariots are already uh, <laughs> going around the earth, man. Yep. You know, the chariots are already manifesting themselves around the earth to a point now, like. Ain't no more UFO conspiracy. It's just that now they know, oh, UFOs, they're real. Oh, yeah, they're most definitely real. Yeah. Okay. Now y'all finna see the rest of what's real. So with that, we're gonna turn towards Jerusalem again, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Number one is again to the Apostle Nelson, the Great Millstone, Peace and Taste to the Hope of the Leg. Form Yasharala. Form Yasharala. Baba Baba. 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 Ba